Hi guys, welcome. My name's Marty. Thanks for joining me. Today I thought I'd take you through a core workout. You ready to get started? You'll only need your mat and that's all you'll need. Let's begin in our quadruped position. Your hands will be underneath your shoulders. Your knees will be underneath your hips. Press through the heel of the hand. Feel like you're pressing up and then sliding your shoulder blades back down for me. So instead of that softening here, we're gonna draw it back and find some length. Reach the crown of the head forward, lengthen the back of the neck and lift that belly up for me. Try and reach the lower back up towards the ceiling without curling under. That's it, so we're just gonna find length in the spine. Take a breath in here. Start to scoop your belly in and up. Eyes go to navel, around your back, tuck the tail under, and then drop down, find some length. Reach your nose forward. Take a breath in here. Tuck everything under. Really lift that navel off the front of your pants. Exhale, glide, and find that length. Draw the shoulders down again, tuck under, we have one more after this and press through and again tuck under this time i want you to curl your toes underneath hover your knees and continue reaching through and then tuck the tail under rounding through your spine and again press through Tucking it under, nice big deep breaths. And again, we have one more after this. And tuck it under. And relax, beautiful work. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is feel like you're diving forward, your nose is reaching for the end of the mat here. You're gonna glide your elbows along the sides of your ribs into your tricep press, and then come back up again, taking it down, making sure we're not arching through that back, keep that navel tucked in, and down we go. We'll do one more after this. Here it is. And let's put the curl with the tricep press together. So tuck the toes under, curl. Exhalation, breath here now with this one. Drop it down and come down for your tricep press. Breathe in, exhale. Squeeze all the air out, round your back, lower those knees. Dive down, come back up, breath in, exhale. Looking good. So slowly warming up the body here. Keep those elbows tucked in at the side. Breath in here, exhale, tuck under. How about two more? Before we move on, gliding down, come on up. Tuck the toes under, breathing in, exhale. Lower down. I'd like you to reach your right arm forward to the front of the mat. It's gonna stay in line with your shoulder and then reach the opposite leg, the left one behind you. So we haven't taken it out wide, it's just in alignment with our shoulder and our hip. Our eyes look slightly forward, we're still lifting through that navel as we lift and we lower. And we lift and we lower. We're gonna avoid letting that head start to sink down. I'm gonna keep length in that back of that neck keeping the shoulders away from the ears as we energize through those fingertips and those toes, finding that maximum reach lower down. Exhale, inhale, beautiful exhale, inhale. And we'll hold it up there for those little pulses, lifting up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'd like you to glide your elbow to your knee Round your back with an exhalation, breathe in. Exhale, inhale, exhale, good work. Inhale, exhale. Let's try another four. Really find that deep scoop, feel like someone is punching you in the belly. You're pulling it up and away so it doesn't make contact with their hand. And again. 
Beautiful. We're going to place that hand down. We're going to keep the leg up into the air. Dive down. Tricep. Beautiful. And this time we'll tuck the toes under. We'll draw our knee to our nose. Lower down. Tricep. Tuck the toes under. Exhalation breath. Draw the knee to the nose. Lower down. Tricep. Good work. Getting the hang of it now, guys. Yes. Doing great. Lower down. Tricep. Pull it in. Two more times. Lower down. Beautiful. Tuck it under. Nice work. All right, so what I'd like you to do now is pulse the triceps down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep reaching through that leg. Two and one. You could pulse your knee to your nose with this knee on the mat. If you'd like a challenge, tuck the toe under and we'll pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Exhalation breath each time. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch that leg long that was pulsing in towards your nose. Take the leg with the kneeling leg here across the front. Now drop the top leg, the one that's the heels pointing to the ceiling behind you. Swivel the hips. We're going to glide down, lift the chin up, find some extension, press and pike the hips up. You might need to adjust the hands. So use your abdominals to get yourself up there. Exhale, come down. Lift that chin up. Breathe in. Exhale. Start to look over your shoulder into your snake. Exhale with that twist. Nice work, good. Let's do another two. And one more. And press out. Beautiful. We're going to come down onto our elbow. Make sure that that elbow is underneath the shoulder. You can bring your toes to the front corner of your mat. Lift up out of your side ribs here. Just want to avoid sinking down. Press up. Beautiful. Hand can go on the forehead or behind the head. Press that elbow back for me. Lift up through those abdominals. I'm going to swing that leg forward. Press and reach the heel behind. Swing it forward, press and reach the heel behind. Beautiful, good. Keep the torso as still as you can so we're not curling when we're bringing that leg forward and we're not arching into our back when we swing behind us. Bring it forward, press it back, keeping nice and still. We have another four and three and two. And one, we'll hold that last one there. We're gonna keep the toe pointed and we'll pulse up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach the arm up above the head, pull the elbow and the knee in towards each other, press away. Exhalation breath, <sighs> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in. Beautiful. Let's try for four and three and two and one. Take the arm above the ear and then swing the legs around so they're now in nice alignment with your hips. Before they were slightly forward, now we've got a straight line happening. Beautiful, so we're going to advance this now. We're gonna take the arm up above the head. We're gonna press up and hold. Excellent, are you ready? We're going to bring the knee in, press it down. You can go back to the previous version if you need to. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, one. Have a rest. Reset the shoulder and the hand. Lift up nice and tall. And are you ready? Arm goes up and over for our side bend. Lift up out of that sideways, pull the shoulder back, lower down with control. Take a breath in. Exhale. Lift up that side waist. 
lower down. Two more. Exhale. Lower down. Last one. Up and over. Beautiful. Come on down. Let's take it to the other side. So come to your quadruped position for me. Hands are underneath the shoulders, same setup as last time. Knees are underneath the hips. Glide the shoulders away from the ears. And we'll tuck under. Find that length. Tuck under, exhalation breath. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Good work. Exhale. Last one. Get ready to tuck those toes under and continue. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. How are we feeling? So you're still doing a lot of shoulder stability work today as well. Two more. And here we go. Last one. Tuck it under. Lower down. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is your tricep presses. Let's go. Glide the elbows along the side of the body. Dive down. Press up through the heel of the hand. Making sure the shoulders are not coming up towards the ears. You're going to pull the shoulder blades down into your imaginary back pockets of the imaginary jeans that you're wearing today. Press away. Keep that navel lifted. Down we go. Press up. Two of these to go. Come on up and down. One more. And get ready. We're going to stretch. This time it will be my left hand and then my right leg. Shoulder blades are down. We lift and we lower. As I said on the first side, we are going to focus on really energizing and reaching through those fingertips and the toes. The backs of the knees are straight, so no little bends in the legs. Try for another four slow. Keep that belly connected with the ribs not flaring. Everything is nice and tight like you've got a corset on. Two to go. Last one we hold here. Lift up, find that length through your spine and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw the elbow to the knee, exhalation breath round your spine. Press away, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really curl that tailbone under for me. Exhale, lift that belly up. For four. And three. How are we going? And two. And one. Reach that leg nice and long for me. Are you ready? You are going to. Take it down, press it up. Back to those triceps again, press it up. We've got eight of them. Keep that leg lifted without the hips sinking off to one side. Belly is nicely tucked in off the front of those pants as always. And let's wrap it up with another three here. Exhale to press up, inhale to go down. One more. Good work. And we are going to bring that knee into the chest, press it away, curl it. Knee into the chest, curl it. Beautiful, in, press away. If you're feeling super keen, pull it in. So you're hovering the foot, or hovering the knee, I should say, that's on the mat, so you've curled the toes under. Curl it in, press it away, four more. And three. And two, and one, lower down. We've got our pulses, triceps again. Oh yeah, you're loving these. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And pulse it in. Remember, you could curl the toe under, pulse it that way if you want. Otherwise, settle that knee back down on the mat. We have another four three, two, and one. 
stretch that leg nice and long. So the leg that was pulsing in, that's going to stretch long. I'm going to shuffle up a little bit so I've got more grip on the mat. And then the knee, this leg, slides forward. You'll drop your heel. So the leg that's on the top, this one here, drops down so the sole of the foot feels like it's reaching for the mat. Find some extension. Use an exhalation breath. Press up into your puck. If you need to adjust the hands, go for it. I want you to use your abdominals to lift yourself up into this pike. Lower down. Drop the hips down. Exhale. Press up. We're going to add that twist after this one. Come on up. Here it is. We're going to look over our shoulder. Beautiful work. Come on up. Exhale. And press up. Two more. You can do this. Exhale. Last one. There it is. We come down onto our elbow. We reach our toes for the front corner of the mat. Press through the heel, press through the hand, lift up through those side ribs, side waist. Beautiful, stacking those hips. Fingertips in front on the forehead or behind your head, as long as you don't press your head forward. Okay, if you feel that that is a bit of a habit for you, maybe that trick is gonna work a little better. All right, so we swing forward with control, press and lead through the heel, maximum stretch behind you. Press forward, exhale, belly stays tucked in, Watch that the back doesn't, or the spine doesn't curl and arch as you perform this series. It's all very smooth, fluid, lots of control happening, lots of reaching through the heel as you press back. Let's try for four, and three. Doing great, guys. Two, wonderful effort. Here's our last one. Reach to the heel, hold to their maximum reach. Squeeze your bottom, now point your toe and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Lift up out of this side waist. If you find that you're sinking down, two and one. Reach the arm up above your head, pull it in. Beautiful, you can just see I've slid down so I'm more aligned. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Big reach each time. Really pull that belly in, otherwise it just sort of feels like, you know, not a whole lot's happening. So make it worth your while. Exhale, press, four, three, two, and one. Line yourself up. So ankles are in line now with the hips. Same setup with the shoulder. Press through the hand and through the elbow and the forearm. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to come up into a hover. Reach that arm nice and long. Four of these. Let's go. And press. And press. And press. You can come down low, settle the hips down, or do another four with me up higher. Three two and one lower down side bent set yourself up again lift up wrap press your hips forward zip your belly in and up exhale sweep that arm over try and lift up your sideways like someone's got your pants at the top and pulling you up to the ceiling lower down exhale lower down exhale how about one more, up and over, and there you go. Come down into a supine position, laying on your back. Take your legs to a tabletop position one at a time. Arms are reaching by your side for the moment. Settle the chest and the backs of the shoulders into the mat without flaring the ribs. So soft through the shoulder, back of the shoulders, but keeping ribs and belly tucked in when you lift one leg to tabletop and the other leg to tabletop. Neutral spine here, so you've got a gentle arch in that lower back. You're not going into an imprint where we tuck everything under and your back feels flat on the mat, okay? 
You're just going back to neutral. As I said, gentle arch, maybe just enough to fit an imaginary blueberry underneath that space. Knees are above the hips. Good work. I'd like you to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Take the hand that's closest to me. So if all you could do the same as me, I'm gonna take my left hand behind my head, support my head. This arm, right one that's reaching to the ceiling will now cross over. So it's not on the same side as the right leg, it's reaching to the outside of the left leg. Beautiful, I'm gonna hold it here and start my little taps, lifting up into my chest lift. Now I'll add the arm. Exhale as the arm comes down. Make sure both shoulders are reaching on the diagonal here, not just keeping the shoulders pointing to the ceiling and reaching the arm across the body. That shoulder has to come with you. And we lift and we lower and we lift and we lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Legs into tabletop. Both arms are gonna reach now. We'll reach both legs out straight and both arms will reach above our head and then we'll return to this shape here. Are you ready? Let's take a breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You could modify by taking your legs higher. You could go for a progression by taking your legs lower. Either way, the chest stays high. We have eight, seven, six. Keep that rotation from the waistband happening. For four, and three, two, and one. Hold that last one there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a little rest, lie it down. Great work, guys. Okay, you ready to go to the other side? Belly is in, tuck those ribs in, one leg to tabletop, other leg to tabletop, knees are above the hips. Don't let them creep in because you'll probably go into a flat back there. Bring it back. Lift up into your chest lift. Take the right hand behind the head, the left hand reaches to the side of the right leg but you've rotated from the waistband, not just reaching the arm across your body. And then we'll go for those little switches with the legs and then add the arm up and down. <sighs> Keep lifting a little higher. You're gonna challenge yourself. Beautiful. Feel like all the wrinkles are happening at the waistband of your pants and your shirt here and not just bunching up at your chest. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Legs go back into tabletop, both arms reach up to the ceiling. Take a breath in here, reach both arms over, back to the right hand side. Beautiful, breath in, exhale, reach it out. Inhale, exhale, belly stays tucked in. Don't let anything pop up, no doming. Exhale as you press out, inhale, exhale. How about we wrap it up in four, in three, in two, and one, we'll hold it there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rotate. Nice work guys, stretch it all out for me. Oh, how do you feel? Warmed up for your next class online, yeah? Okay, hopefully that gave you a nice little abdominal workout. Bring the knees into the chest and then just rock nicely side to side. Take the hands behind the knees, roll yourself up because we're just gonna flip over and find a little bit of length through our front body. So up onto your elbows. Stage one is where we'll feel like we're pulling our nose forward to the opposite wall. So you can grip through the mat if you like and use your fingertips, feel like you're pulling yourself forward and creating length that way. Don't think about so much up, I'm gonna pull forward. 
That's it. Pressing the hip bones into the mat, pubic bone into the mat, and relax. You could repeat that if you feel like you'd like something a little stronger. Bring your fingertips so they're in line with your uh, tips of your shoulders. Pull the elbows back for me. And again, when we come up to this one, I want you to feel like you're gliding on an angle that way instead of just going straight up. So leading with the nose, pressing a marble forward across the mat and then gliding up that way. Let's take a breath in. We're gonna press our hip bones and pubic bone into the mat and off we go. Gliding up. And coming all the way up, finding that length. Slide the shoulder blades back down. Come down. And then tuck the toes under because we're going to press up, come back for a child's pose, and then one last cat cow to finish off today. Come on up, find that quadruped position one last time. Pressing up, tuck the towel under, scoop that belly, eyes go to navel, and release. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's class. I do look forward to the next time, and enjoy your day. Bye for now.